Well, you've probably seen the stickers on cars that either say 13.1 or 26.2. Well, they indicate that the driver has either run a half marathon or full marathon. If I had one of those stickers, it would probably say 12 feet because that's about how far it is to the fridge. <laughs> Well, you know, you don't have to run a marathon or even a half marathon to be a runner. You just have to put one foot in front of the other. And whether you run marathons, half marathons, 5Ks, or just around the block, you want to make sure you have the proper gear. And for that, you need Rehoboth Beach Running Company. Not only will you find gear, you just might find some inspiration. Not all runners are created equally. That's why Mary Beth Evans at the Rehoboth Beach Running Company has a treadmill in the store. She says shoes are the most important gear for running. And so we can put people on the treadmill, videotape, and then they can watch themselves run in slow motion and see which shoes are the best for them, which feel the you know, most comfortable and create the level of support that they need. She says the next important gear is what goes between your shoes and your feet. So shoes are the most important. Then, you know, then once people take that step, we look at socks because, you know, we, most people run with like wicking socks. So cotton holds the moisture. And so socks that wick away the moisture, you're less likely to get blisters and things like that. Mary Beth says as you start to increase your distance, you might want to consider things like water belts, gels, and bars. You know, I do something every hour. So if I'm running two hours, I would probably do a bar or a gel or jelly beans or something like that. Rehoboth Beach Running Company is tiny and tucked away off Rehoboth Avenue, but it's packed with everything you need whether you're an avid runner or are thinking about starting, or if you want to take fitness to the next level and become a triathlete. You know, a little bit for triathlon too, some goggles and things like that, because sometimes people start with running and then they see a whole bunch of people around here doing triathlon. And it's not just gear you'll find here. We offer people, we give them names that some people come in looking for a coach, so we have names of some coaches that we recommend. Uh, we give them maps for the state park system. You know, we give them maybe some websites where they can look, um, tell them about some local training groups and um, all that kind of stuff. If running a marathon or half marathon is on your bucket list, Mary Beth says you have time to train for the Rehoboth Beach Seashore Marathon and Half Marathon coming up toward the end of the year. It's December 2nd this year. It's a Saturday in December and it's uh, it'll be our 10th anniversary. So far about 1400 runners have signed up for the races, but it's not too late to get in. Yeah, this would be the perfect time to start. You know, there's all kinds of training programs from people that are already, you know, running or people that have never run at all. You know, people can start with maybe a couch to 5K or you can start with a half marathon or marathon training plan, even, you know, Now's the perfect time. Both the half and full marathon send runners on a flat course through downtown Rehoboth, Gordon Pond Wildlife Area, and Cape Henlopen State Park. When it comes to how you look while you're running, Rehoboth Beach Running Company has you covered there too. We've got skirts and we've got shorts for women and shorts for men. And a lot of our tanks, some people, uh, we love our little I Run This Town shirts. And so uh, <laughs> that's kind of fun. But we have other gear that doesn't have our logo on it too. And hats and visors and sunglasses and watches and all of that kind of stuff too. Mary Beth has been running for a while and knows how some people struggle with it, especially when they get started. But she also knows how running can benefit you in more ways than physical. I love running because I just feel great when I finish, or maybe Dora, it's my stress reliever for me. If I'm really tired and maybe I don't feel like running, I go for a run and I almost always feel better. I just zone out any stress I've had for the day. It just seems to melt away, whether some days I feel strong and maybe run a little faster, or some days I'm not feeling so strong, I run very, very slow. And, but I still just feel great. A feeling that Mary Beth and her team at Rehoboth Beach Running Company want to pass on to everyone. Now, Mary Beth told me she's been working at the Rehoboth Seashore Marathon since it started. She said for the 10th anniversary, she's actually going to run it. So good luck to her.